Okay, I'm looking it up. The bias lies in the ways that which you engage in these conversations. The kind oh, of. Oh no no uh, no! Okay, then, then we have all right, all right. Well, everybody has If you're gonna happen. ask me a question, I can't answer. Okay, all right. Well, listen. I'll let you just go. Speak to yourself or speak into the void. I really don't care. <laughs> no, no, I'm, Congratulations! I have a question. I have a question. I have a question because I feel. You know what's funny is oftentimes you look up and see Destiny laughing when she's interrupting people, but it has. On his stream, he should moderate a tad, tad bit. It's kind of pathetic. Like, I've seen him moderate when people say something he don't like. He'll be like, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait a second. You wait a second. But when she's constantly interrupting people, black men specifically, who are trying to say their piece and respond to questions she's asking, it's like he's laughing at their frustration with her. She's frustrated to talk to. Now, this is what I want you to think about, Destiny, if you ever see this. Imagine coming home to a woman like that. Imagine you have to talk. That is what we're dealing with. In our community, that is what many men are dealing with. So it's funny to you guys, but the reality is, is like, she needs to be regulated. And as much as people hate Myron on Fresh and Fit, he ain't playing that. As much as I ever hate Byron on Fresh and Fit, he don't play that. And I like how he deal with it. Sometimes I'm not saying sometimes he goes overboard with the Frank Castle. We all know that. But what I'm saying is this. He do not allow people to come on his platform and just disrespect other guests and stuff like that. Over here, they, they're like only, only when it's like nuclear levels of out of control, then he steps in. And it's like, people don't like sitting here being disrespected when they let her have her turn. And I don't care that she's being ganged up on either because the reality is she came on the platform to say a crazy point and she knew the stakes. Nobody's interrupting her, so she shouldn't be interrupting anybody else. You need a moderator. And if you're not going to moderate, don't be sitting back in the background laughing at their frustration at trying to talk to this crazy woman. I feel like I, I know where I, I know where the disconnect is because I think that I'll, both of you guys obviously talk about personal. You don't know anything. I think the only difference is that a low tier god doesn't feel a responsibility to the black community, and it feels like Anna, you you. Let me, as a liberal woman, assess the situation and explain it away for you. You black people, will just sit back. The English language is ours, by the way, so I'll explain it for you. You really believe, maybe not in separatism, but sort of like tribalism. And you feel like uh, black people have responsibility what? for each other. Okay, That's what it's coming across as. Maybe, maybe. That's what it's coming across as. So correct me if I'm wrong. I know I will. So I don't, I, it's not that I think that black people, I think that if, if any change is going to, is going to be made, that is going to require a level of conscious organization. It's going to, you need to have the militant approach. That's true. Everything she's saying is true right here. That doesn't mean you have to sit around and talk about, oh, I hate white people all day. Correct. Oh, well, yeah, we have to. No, hold on. Let me finish. Okay. What I'm saying is yep. we have to collectively at least have an understanding of A, what is the problem? What's the pervasive? I agree. And what's pervading in the black community, whether it's behavior, whether it is, it, it is um, behavior, conditioning, systemic, oh, oh, whether it is. Um, yeah, wait, wait, wait. The problem is when you get people together. Right wing, left wing, moderate. When you get black people together, we'll never agree on what the source of the problem is. Never. Like, people will hear me talk and watch this stream, and they will totally disagree that we need to get back to godly Christian values. They will... <laughs> they will laugh me to scorn. What? The problem's obviously education. The problem's obviously poverty. The problem's obviously... They, they, it's, nobody's going to sit and agree. So then you don't come to a conclusion. And this is why I say the probability of the community fixing itself is very low. Can we, can we shortcut all this? Can, you, can we shortcut all this? Low tier God asked you, what's the blueprint? So we understand that you're saying there needs to be consciousness about the problems. What's the blueprint? What do you want people like him to do? Give us bullet points. Right. Well, I have to know why he hit, why no, I... No, no, you don't. See, now now you're getting me upset. Because what's happening is she's avoiding the question. All it takes is bullet points. I said my bullet points. Get back to the jail Christian biblical values. And those values will lead you to hierarchy and marriage. Those values will lead you to long suffering in marriage so that you can be in the marriage and learn how to do what our grandparents do, which is every little thing that comes in and, and tries to obstruct your marriage, you can get over it like they did. 
My blueprint is very simple. She don't want to say her blueprint because guess what? She don't have one. 